What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Death Road to Canada. My name is Splattercat. I was actually expecting this game to be a lot shorter. And we've only gone like six days on the road. Like we still have not made it. We have not made it at all. We're still just chilling out here. And so we ate a decent meal. We apparently are really, really good at fire safety. That's what we found out is that Eleonora is apparently like the fire chief somewhere. I don't know, but she's really good at fire safety. So we escaped without burning to death. And burning to death is one of those things in a zombie apocalypse you don't really think about because there are other types of death. There are other assortments of death that are more readily available. However, fire safety appears to remain important. So there it is. Off on the road we go. Our car should last for a while. Our gas is alright. It doesn't seem like we're really draining out. There's a city in the distance with zombies crowding the streets. Getting back alive may be difficult. Their aggression is calm, but the swarm size is thick. We can go to the apartment with a help banner, or we can go to the athletic store. Let's go to the help banner, because we need more people. We need people, like, really badly. I'm going to get rid of the frying pan, and I'm going to get rid of the wood bat. Alright, that looks good. I'm trying to store up some extra shit. Like, it's a big swarm, but they're not really that hostile, and they're not moving that quickly. So there's a help me sign in here. It would be my hope that we find the person we're looking for quickly. And maybe even, if we're especially lucky, we can trap a bunch of zombies in there so we don't have to worry about them for at least a little bit. I'm gonna loot what I can. Oh my god, your tongue's out, bro. Oh cool, we found a gas stove. Give us a bunch of gas. I'm gonna draw as many as I can up this way. Her fitness is not so good, so... Swacking zombies is not going to work great. I mean, given the numbers that they possess anyways and our inability to really outfight them, I would avoid it to begin with and just keep trucking, you know? There's somebody. Jeffrey says he really wants to get out of this place and ask if he can follow you around. Hell yeah, Jeff! Let's get going, you hipstery little... I don't even know what to call you right now. You got a pompadour and a mustache. If you're not a hipster, I don't know what it is. Jeffrey starts following Eleonora. He could be useful, or if you can get him out of here alive, we can use him as a distraction. He's got a cane. Alright, man. The goal for now is going to be to stand our ground for, like, just a minute. And kind of just see what happens here. Okay, I'm out of energy. You're out of energy. We appear to have cleared them out pretty well, so let's just keep going. We got some bullets out of a trash can. Who throws away perfectly good ammunition? A bunch of savages in this town. But they stick gum in the locks, too. Oh, that wasn't good. That didn't work out at all. Jerry, stop exhausting yourself with the blood of your enemies. We have room. We need to get through. There we go. Mash through, pal. I know you can make it. I believe in you, Jerry! I believe in you. I mean, it's mostly that I just don't want to be in this place because it's crowded. It really doesn't have anything to do. Can I loot this? No, I cannot. I said, it doesn't have to do with the fact of anything else. It's just that the zombies aren't that dangerous. It's just like crowded in here, you know? And I would prefer to avoid that. Fourteen bullets in a closet, using an entire closet to store one box of bullets. It's the sacred box of bullets! Come on, Jerry! Run for it, pal! I believe in you! I don't think Jerry made it. Is Jerry dead? Jerry! Oh, they killed Jerry. Sons of bitches. Sons of bitches killed him. Jerry, no! Jerry! Alright, well, let's go loot Jerry's neighborhood then. That was a waste of an excursion. There's gotta be some goodies around here somewhere. I'm gonna go inside this building. This building looks official. I bet there's nice stuff in here. Some shotgun shells. A little bit of food. That's already been opened up. I'm going to grab these lays over here. Don't mind me. There's three food inside of a clock. I'm assuming that that's a Final Fantasy reference. I don't know if you knew this, but in Final Fantasy... I don't remember if it was elixirs or what it was. You always check clocks in the earlier Final Fantasy games. 
because there was always like elixirs and stuff inside of them. Ooh, medical supplies are good. This might work out for us after all, maybe. And frankly, we could use a good workout because we saw what happened when the weak challenged the swole, so it didn't work out so well for us. And I'm not sure even I'm not even trying to be punny right there, it's just that's the way the verbiage came out. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're taking damage from any of that. I think it's just if you stay inside of the radius for too long. We already went in there. Did we go in here? We did not. And there is tons of stuff in here. So let's go ahead and claim that. I might be able to trade into something awesome like a chainsaw later on. We haven't had any fun yet with things like chainsaws. So, oh, there's gas in the toilet. Hold on. There we go. Sometimes you gotta get gas out of the turlet. This game would be a lot easier if your weapon had cleave. <laughs> but like the bat only affects the first thing that it collides with. Can I loot that? Nope, but I can throw it. I will take that femur. I will take that femur. Sounds like a plan, man. This music is too relaxing. I don't feel like I'm dodging zombies right now. I feel like I'm in an elevator heading up to like, I don't know, a hotel room or something. But not like in a whack, 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 well. Wait, like I don't have a lady in the elevator with me. It's like a business trip or something, and you're kind of just trying to get it over with, but at the same time, it's still like a little bit relaxing, just like being in the elevator for a minute, not having to handle your business. And like, luckily, you know, your belt is not too tight. I've noticed that I have a, I have a problem like with belts that are too tight. Like, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Your loafers are feeling good. I don't know if you guys rock the loafers or like the Oxfords or like what you guys use. I, I don't really, the brogues. Whatever your choice in dress shoe is, I don't really know which one you prefer. But just fill in. Fill in. Please don't be a small room full of zombies. Oh, shit on me. Oh, I broke the broom upside their heads. Tried to sweep through the neighborhood like I own the place. Oh, there's more houses down there. Can I get to them? Dude, there's so much exploration to do. I'm so happy with this right now. There's like tons of houses in this neighborhood. Although they all appear to be blocked with refuse. Refuse. As we like to call it in the business. Man. I was so excited about exploring and you just took that from me. Death Road to Canada. You took it from me. You took it from me. Where was my car? I don't recall where I left my car at. Hmm. I think it was in front of the building. Yeah, yeah. I think it was in front of the apartment building. That's what it was. Alright. Start that thing. Let's go. I'll give her some gas and we'll get the hell out of here. We got some food. We didn't, we didn't rescue a guy. We did a very, very, very poor job at search and rescue. No, Eleonora feels pretty guilty about Jeffrey getting eaten. Such is life, I suppose. Look at his hairstyle. You can't love that guy. Just let him go. You know you're just going to feel better when you eat two, like, two burgers at the same time later anyways, when you make like a triple-decker burger. So, Eleonora finds a trash house with some bottles and tattered rags. Searching it seemed like a waste of time, but Eleonora has an idea. She can make Molotovs if she can spare the gas. We cannot spare the gas. Let's continue. Or throwing furniture at them. It's nearly time to camp, but there's been a lot of signs of bandits today. Somebody needs to be awake in case of an attack. Keep driving. We have nobody to stay on watch. No, we're sad. But then we're back because we ate a double burger. Oh, man, my car is broken. While walking along a dirt road, she thinks she saw a car, but when they got close, it was just a giant rock. What a shame. And thus began the Great Depression. After a hard day looking for a car, Eleonora finds a camping spot. During the night, she is attacked by ants and must leave without sleep. Eleonora is hurt, eats a decent meal, and her morale gets better for having bit by, been bit by ants. She treats her wounds. Her medical expertise increases. Yay! Take that, ants! You and your short-term damage. While trekking through the woods, Eleonora gets pretty lost. If she keeps going like this, she'll waste a lot of time. Climb a tree and look around. She climbs a tree to get a better vantage point of the surrounding area on the way up. The branch that was holding her weight breaks, causing her to fall a good distance. While walking along the road, she spots a gas station in the distance. Not a lot is there other than a cool-looking muscle car next to a gas pump. 
It has the keys sitting on the dash. Most of cars like this have slightly worse gas mileage than average to break down fast. They're easy to repair and very fast and take off a sweet or take it off with a sweet jump. Yay, morale is fixed because we have a muscle car now. Our car is swole. A deer is stopped in the middle of the road. It stares at the car. Shoot that bastard. Get him. She whiffs it. Her shooting has been revealed. Wow, this thing does get bad gas mileage. This thing is not playing. This thing's guzzling. Eleonora continues making progress along the death road. As long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. The dream of Canada. Yay, we find a trader. Who can I trade with? This woman is decked out in sweatbands, limb warmers, and garish exercise clothes. Only the fittest will survive in the zombie-filled world. I can help you get fit fast by taking your food from you. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Eleanor works up a huge sweat from the fitness routine. She loses six food, and her fitness doesn't really change. I can't even go again. Man. There is a lady who is selling bullets. Meh. I don't think I even have a gun, so I'm not that worried about it. Wait, is there a graveyard down here? What's in the graveyard? Sorry, I had to defile at least one. I had to let the universe know that I was here. And sometimes defiling a grave is the only way to let it know. Off we ride. At least morale is good, so that's plus. Uh, there's a siege alert with no escape. It's a very large one. Current time is afternoon. Siege length is one hour. I don't like this. These sieges. These sieges are not fair. They are nasty. At least these zombies seem a little slower. I'm gonna bash this zombie real fast. Oh, shit balls! Gotta push through. Gotta push through. No! This is not working out so great. No! I think those sieges are the only thing that's actually hard in the game because like, where are you gonna go? You're in a tiny little room. Oh, man. Well, that's Death Road to Canada. If you want to see more, let me know down below, and maybe we'll do another run. I will see you all in future episodes. Thanks for stopping in, everybody. Hi-do.